Hi there, today is Wednesday and it's video day today. Just kidding, it's actually tomorrow. Thursday is when I usually make my videos. Uh, but I thought I'd make a quick video uh, for those who are considering starting envelope budgeting. Now I know envelope budgeting may not be for everybody under the sun. I get that, I understand. But for our family, envelope budgeting is the easiest place to start because you can start with as little as three envelopes, six envelopes, 12 envelopes, whatever you want. And that's the beauty of envelope budgeting. And the whole idea behind envelope budgeting, believe it or not, is to find those missing dollars. That's it, it's, it's not to constrain you, it's not to make you feel like you don't have a life, which sometimes you could feel that way, I get it. But in reality, the idea is to find that extra $20 or $40 or $60 and be accountable to that. Because at the end of the day, it's, it's only you, it's only your responsibility. Nobody else is gonna budget for you. You have to figure out a way to do it yourself. So that's why we use envelope budgeting. And it has helped us, uh, we went on holidays, we saved up just over $5,600 in four months, which a year ago we probably wouldn't be able to do because money just, it's so easy these days to spend money on anything under the sun. So, and I was notorious. I, I, was, I wouldn't consider myself a shopaholic, but I would consider myself a notorious spender. I like to eat food, so that was, that's my weakness. I like eating out a lot, and I like going to movies a lot. So, when you're on a budget, which I, I hate the sound of that word budget, believe me, if you look around at my other videos, you'll see that I was not a big fan of budgeting. But at the end of the day, when you have some extra cash because you managed to save up for a couple of weeks and you can blow it on exactly what you want without feeling guilty, that is the fun part about envelope budgeting. And quite honestly, after a while, you will get so good at it that you probably won't need to carry around a bunch of envelopes. I don't. I don't carry 12 envelopes with me every single day. But I do think in compartments. So for example, I'll just, I basically just carry my cash, my blow money. That's all I do. I take my money out of my envelope, my blow money, and I'll carry that with me for the rest of the week. And then I'll top it up at the end of the week. Because really all I need it for is maybe when I go out for lunch or I buy a snack or get some coffee, that kind of stuff. So. It's not a big deal. And then on Friday nights, my wife and I go out for a meal or go see a movie or something. So it's pretty reasonable. You don't have to carry all your envelopes with, with you. Uh, my wife actually carries the, the grocery envelope with her. And uh, we allocate between five and $600 every two weeks. And how that works out is there's five of us in the house. So you can basically bank on $100 her mouth um, in order to budget for groceries so that's a formula you can use so if there's two of you it's pretty much 200 bucks every two weeks and you can tweak it and figure it out yourself so we basically spend uh, just over a thousand dollars on groceries every single month and that covers off you know if I want to cook some steak on the barbecue and all that kind of stuff so it's actually it's not very constricting at all and uh, it's kind of funny the other day um, speaking of barbecues we were gonna barbecue some chicken and when it, we went into the garage and lo and behold our deep freeze was unplugged so maybe maybe way up north it's not a big deal but where we are in Calgary, you know, it's pretty warm in the summertime. And uh, I don't know how long that deep freeze was unplugged. It could have been a couple of days. I might have bumped it uh, when I was working on the car or something. I don't know. I really don't know what happened. But we lost about three, $400 worth of meat. That sucked big time. So me being an optimist, uh, 
the only way that I can look at it positively is we have a nice clean deep freeze now it's brand new it looks like it's brand new so that's the only positive so now we're in the process of filling our deep freeze again and uh, you know sometimes there's some junk in your freezer that it's either got freezer burn or it's just it's not being used maybe somebody gave you some food or something like that so it's actually nice to clean it up so our freezer is like brand new we don't have any vegetables or anything in there so uh, this weekend we got to stock up and get our freezer loaded again but that was kind of a drag because I didn't expect to lose three four hundred dollars worth of meat so you can't predict things like that so that's that's why you need an emergency fund just for emergencies like that so we are able to uh, compensate for that because we do have an emergency fund uh, we have at least a thousand dollars and that's what I would encourage you is to set up an emergency fund once you get a thousand dollars then you can work on your other envelopes so I hope that helps I hope this video doesn't seem like I'm rambling uh, but um, I like to send out a video just to help someone if they're just thinking about starting out with budgeting because trust me if you're doing it with someone else it does help to have a strategy in place so thanks for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe. See you later.